Uh, this is Bass University Basics. Now we've got you on the water. And uh, you know, I know a lot of you are gonna start out fishing in kayaks, fishing in uh, John boats, trolling motor only boats, or, or even uh, you know, start a bass boat. Whatever it may be, but eventually you're gonna get on the water in a boat. And uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna try to help you define what's a good bass target. What's a place where uh, you know, a predator can set up with a good chance of ambushing, a, ambushing his prey? And um, right up the bank here, I see something that's really key. You always want to look for whenever you're out on the water uh, is isolated cover, something that's different. And what we, what we have here is a bank with some overhanging bushes. And then you see this dead, fallen, tree with lots of branches that kind of sticks out a little bit further than the rest of the habitat. When you, whenever you see something like that, wherever you're at, uh, I want your red flags to go up. This is a key spot. This is different. Uh, this is a unique piece of habitat along this shoreline and it's a good place to target. It's an excellent target. Um, and if you look at it, you can see why. It sticks out a little bit further into the water. So if you have current in your particular body of water, that's great because uh, the current that sweeps by that tree that it's gonna bring bait, uh, it's perfect for a bass to set up and get a free meal uh, as the current sweeps by. But even if there's no current, you're at a pond or something like that, it offers shade, it offers uh, ambush opportunities. It's a great little place to target. And let me show you how to target it. So let's ease up there with the trolling motor. Um, we're gonna get to we're gonna get up to this tree and make a few casts at it, and we're gonna talk about a couple of the places where the fish is likely to position themselves. The there's a couple places that you're gonna look for a bass on this particular piece of habitat. One of the first places that I like to look is the very outside tips of the tree the branches that stick the furthest out into the water. Uh, and, and that's usually where I'm gonna make my first cast. I have a jig tied on here, and I'm gonna make my first pitch right to the ends of that tree. And I'm gonna let that bait fall down to the bottom on a slack line. And, and then I'm gonna kinda you know, work it slow back to the boat just a few inches. If I don't get a strike, I'm gonna reel it in and make another cast. Something very, very important to understand about a piece of habitat like this is what you can see is usually the tip of the iceberg. Usually there's a lot more underwater than what you see out of the water. So on a piece of habitat like this, I'm gonna cast out in front of that tree, I would expect the branches on that tree to come out to there, to come as far as five, 10, you know, 20, 30 feet off of that tree what you can see, and, I, and as I'm working my jig back, I can feel the branches uh, that are under the water surface right there. And a lot of times, that's the place where the, the bass is gonna be. Way out on the end, on the piece that sticks the furthest out into the water. A great, great location, uh, great target for a largemouth bass. Now, once you fish the outside of that tree, uh, which is a great place to fish, I'm gonna to wanna to get a little bit deeper into that tree. And now you're gonna need a Texas rig or a jig or some type of weedless flipping application or uh, to be able to get in there. And I wanna cast up into the heart of that tree, into the tree that has the most complicated uh, branches, more branches, weeds, all that stuff that comes together. That's what we wanna look for because often the densest part of the cover, the most complicated part of the cover, is going to be where that predator, the biggest predator, is going to set up. So the very aggressive predators, I catch on the outside edges. Often the biggest predators, I'm going to catch in the meat, the heart of that tree. So there are a couple of the places that, uh, that the fish will set up. But this is an excellent target, right? It's, it's unique, it's different. It's different from the rest of the surroundings, so it's definitely a target that, that I'm gonna key on anytime I'm going down the bank. 
Now we're going to keep going. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV. TV today.